Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I made a video before about burning M discs on uh, Windows, and I ended up um, on Ubuntu. Sorry, I ended up having to use VMware and uh, you know uh, virtual machine, and it did work just fine. I was actually not expecting that, but then I saw on Reddit people were saying, "Yeah, there's no problem getting the uh, M disc to burn using K3B." So I knew there was something fishy. And I went thinking about it, and then I eventually figured it out. Well, the problem was, in my case, I was connecting my um, M-Disc burner, Blu-ray M-Disc burner, through USB hub. And that was causing great issues with the USB writer being detected. So I said, why don't I try just connecting it directly to the computer? And hey, presto. So here is, uh, so that's what I've just gone ahead and done. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm going to be, uh, I'm really doing a duplication process here. I've burned my, the last three years, my video production efforts onto um, an MDisc library using the previous method I described in VMware. But of course I'd rather work directly in uh, Linux. What I'm doing now is I'm actually MDisc by MDisc, I'm creating duplicates uh, so that I can create an offsite backup archive. So what you're seeing here, and the program looks to be kind of just a little bit frozen for a, a tiny bit of time here. What you're seeing is a folder with the contents of the previous M disk. So I'm just going to grab them all, and I'm going to just chuck them over to the new M disk. And this is an this is a M disk. It's a 25 gig capacity. You get to 23.3 of usable uh, capacity. So I'm filling, up, I'm filling up my archives to about the 20, um, I'm trying to get as close to 23 as possible, but this one I left a little bit more. Now you can do more sophisticated stuff like leaving parity data. I'm at the kind of elementary stage of this. If you want to do this properly, name your project, etc., etc. but I'm gonna go for the quick and dirty method. I'm gonna click on burn and you do get some options here. Um, you get, for instance, that the writing mode uh, the, f the time can be up to four times. And you've actually got an, an option to create multiple copies, which would be super useful if you're doing this, this, sorry, directly. Remember, I just did a video about offsite approaches and you wanna create three to one compliant backups always. So you wanna always burn each data, each data pool twice, one for your onsite, one for your offsite. So to make this process a bit less tedious, you could do two copies and run them one after the other. So I've dumped in my data, um, I'm not doing anything fancy here. I get, I'm using auto speed mode. I do get two times and four times. These are four times, four times disks, but I'm gonna just let the uh, computer do it. And I'm not gonna verify the data. This is again, a kind of more quick and dirty, if you will. And then I'm gonna click on burn basically. So we are firing up in K3B onto an M disk. It's enabled the UDF extension. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna click exit when we actually start the burning process because no one wants to sit through a um, 30 minute burn. That's about how long it takes me to write 20 gigs onto each M disk. Um, I'm just gonna get as far as to, to validate that it's, that it's working. Um, I'm just paying attention at this moment to the various um, things here. For instance, this is the product name. You can see WP50 NB40. It's from um, LG company. That's my burner. So I know, hey, good. We're using the right optical thing. And once I see this, I know we're in something's happening, right? So I'm watching. So we've started the buffer. The writing speed is, uh, is you can see 4,496 kilobits per second one time. So yeah, this is going to be another slow burning process. But um Writing data is 7185 of 1900. So we've just burned our first 100 megabytes of 19.5. Uh, and everything looks like it's uh, going ahead to me. So this is uh, K3B, the burning process of an M disk. I'm waiting for that first 1% uh, to talk up, to, to, to clock up. I guess it's going to be when I get to 192. There we go, 1% estimated remaining time two hours this is dreadfully slow i think i was getting four times um write speed on the um using i'm using burnware on windows so the next disk because i have 16 of these delights to uh copy over to my offsite i'm going to play around and try manually crank that burn speed up to four because writing 
and disks writing 20 gigabytes at one times burn speed, as you can see, is a rather painful process. Uh, so this is it anyway. Here's K3B in action, working away on burning a M disk. M disk, of course, being a modified version of the Blu-ray DVD for long-term archival cold storage and a super cool project. Really interesting way, in my opinion, of doing backup instead of trusting your data to random cloud providers. Uh, get yourself a cold on a copy, or you could just do. You could also do backup onto your NES and then duplicate the NAS onto MDisk 20, 25, 50, or 100 gigs at a time, and then set up your own off-site archive in somewhere like your, um, your, your office, or your friend's house, or some, uh, you know, um, equivalent to Iron Mountain that isn't a commercial service. Anyway, this is a K3B in action on an MDisk. Hope this video was useful, and feel free to subscribe to get more videos from this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.